Hey everyone, welcome back. So guys, in this tutorial, you will learn how you can collect the payment details of the multi-plan subscriptions that you are selling into Google Sheets automatically. So guys, the use case here is that you are selling your product on subscription based model and you have multiple subscription plans for your customers. So if any customer of yours purchases any of your plans, you want that the details of that particular plan getting purchased will be saved in a particular Google Sheet automatically. So guys, we have designed this automation for you so that you can do this without any manual efforts. So you can see now on my screen here, this will be the flow of this automation. You can see we are using Pabli subscription billing application for selling the subscription plans. So as and when any plan got purchased for any product, the details of that uh, plan getting purchased will be added in a new row in a particular Google Sheet automatically. So you do not have to manually sort out the details and you do not have to manually fill the details here. So it will save your manual efforts. It will save your time in doing this repetitive task and it will improve your productivity. So guys here we are using Pabli Connect to make this happen to make the connection between Pabli subscription billing and Google Sheets. And the best part is anyone can set up this automation without any coding skills very easily. So now let's set up this automation together. So to set up this automation guys, first of all, you need to reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect application and to reach here, you can use this link pabli.com slash, let me put a slash here, slash connect. Okay. So when you type pabli.com slash connect, you will reach this page and from here you can set up your free Pabli Connect account by clicking on this sign up free button and you will get 100 free automation tasks every new month. Okay, so sign up right now from this link. We have pasted the same in the description as well. And after that, you can log in and reach here on the dashboard. And guys, here you have to create a workflow of automation for that. Just click on this create workflow button. And here you can give any suitable name to this workflow. So I am giving the name here as multi plan subscription payment details into Google Sheets. So you can give any other name as well. I'm just showing you how to give a name. Okay. So after filling the name like this, you just have to click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here. And here's how you can see the workflow page. Here we have the trigger and the action. So we are going to set up this automation with the help of these two things only. So the trigger is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger. So in this case, the trigger event would be a new plan getting purchased from Pabli subscription billing application and the action towards that trigger would be to add the data of, a, of that plan getting purchased into a spreadsheet which we have created here in Google Sheets application. Okay. So first of all, you need to set up the trigger. So from this choose app field, you have to choose the trigger application as Pabli subscription billing. Here it is selected. And you can see it will triggers every 10 minutes. And in every 10 minutes, this trigger is going to check in PSB Pabli subscription billing application that if a new plan got purchased or not. And if there is a, any new purchase, the data of that will be fetched here and the workflow will trigger. Okay. So the trigger event would be payment successful, successful payment. Okay. Select this and it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL. And with the help of this, we are going to make a connection between this workflow and Pabli subscription billing application. And you need to follow these steps written here to make this connection. Okay, so you can just read the instruction and follow them. Let me show you the exact process. Guys, this is my Pabli subscription billing applications dashboard. Okay, and here you can see I am selling these products. Okay, so the name of my product is connect integration plan. And here we have multi plan option in which I am. I have three plans actually, the standard plan pro plan and ultimate plan. Okay. And here guys on the left hand side panel on the bottom side, you can see we have the settings option. Click on settings and here you will find this webhooks option in this panel. Click on webhooks and here we have to add a webhook. So click on this add webhook button and here you can give 
a name to this web book so i'm giving the name as multi plan offers okay you can give any name and here it is asking to select the product so as i have told you that we are selling this connect integration plan product okay and i want to add this workflow for all the plans that we have so i'm selecting all plan here and here it is asking for the webhook url so here we have to paste this webhook url so you just have to click on copy from here okay and then you have to paste it here in this in this uh, webhook url field like this okay then you have to scroll down and here you have to select this event guys you can see we have these events option so you have to check this successful payment box like this so when you check this what will happen whenever if we got a new successful payment for any of our plans the data will be uh, checked by our workflow and it will be fetched by our workflow okay so now click on save here right so i have added a new webhook here and here you can see as i have copied this webhook url it started showing waiting for the webhook's response so this means now we can perform a test submission test submission means i am going to make a test purchase via our selling page which we have created here let me show you this is the secure checkout page i have created with the help of pavli subscription billing application so here i am going to make a test or demo purchase and the details of that purchase will be captured here in this workflow in this response section and with the help of that test data we are going to move forward okay so here let me select this pro plan okay so this is the price of this pro plan here let me fill in the details of any dummy customer so the name of the customer is dummy customer only here let me fill the email id this is the email id let the fill the billing address so to make a test payment you have to select this test card option and then click on success so the test card details will be filled here like this and now click on complete order and you can see the order is getting completed here so it is showing thank you for your purchase the transaction is successful okay now let's select now let's check in our workflow if we got the data of this test purchase or not so guys here you can see in this response section we got the details of the product getting purchased like this here it is showing the payment is success it is showing a reference id okay and here when you scroll down it will show you all other details here you can see it is showing the transaction amount as uh, 25000 okay but actually we have received the payment of 2500 here so uh, our plan for pro plan is of 2500 but we have received two extra zeros here because of this decimal and we have uh, received two extra zeros so we can correct it okay and here we have received all other details the name of the customer is this the email id is here okay and the state okay and all other details are received here so that's how we can fetch the test details of any purchase and here you will see the plan name is also here pro plan plan price is corrected price is here you can see okay 2500 okay total amount is here so we have the corrected price also no need to worry and we have all other details as well so guys now what we want we want to add the details of this uh, test purchase to be saved here in uh, this google sheet so this is a spreadsheet i have created and in this spreadsheet i have three sheets this is a standard sheet in which we are adding the details of the plan uh, of standard plan whenever the standard plan is going to be purchased the details will be captured here when the pro plan will be purchased the details will be captured here and this is the sheet for the ultimate plan so i want that uh, the the purchase uh, data of the pro plan will be fetched here and saved here in this google sheet in a new row for that to happen what i am going to do so you can see that we have three plans and we have three spreadsheets so these are three conditions we have first condition is that whenever a pro plan is purchased so send the data into a particular sheet if a standard plan is purchased send the data into standard sheet and similarly for the third plan as well so for these three plans we are going to create three conditional paths or three routes so 
here in the section step i'm going to use router feature of pavli connect and with the help of router we can create three different routes for three different purchase plans or subscription plans okay so when you select router it will automatically give you these two routes so here i'm going to click on set filter and action steps and let me create this route for the first plan that we whose whose data we have received as the test data here okay for the pro, pro plan okay so i'm going to rename this step so that you can understand clearly so this route is for pro plan okay right now click on set filter and action steps and so with the help of this filter that we have here we can apply this condition that i have received the data of pro plan getting purchased okay so you can see in this first step in the test data we have received the plans name okay here you will find the plans name here you can see we have received this plans name in this data subscription label okay so i'm going to select this label guys here in this set filter and action steps in this filter here it is asking to select the label so I'm going to click here and it will show me this previous step in the drop down. So from this first step, I'm going to uh, search for the plan name label. Data subscription plan name. Here it is Select it and make the filter type equals to and in the value put pro. This means we are saying to Pavli Connect that when the data plan label show you pro value, then only continue this workflow and send the data into this spreadsheet, this pro plan spreadsheet. Okay. So here now the next step. So here you can click on save and send test request first and it is showing us the condition is true. Okay. Now when the condition met true, we want that the data should be traveled to my spreadsheet for that to happen. Just click here on this plus icon. And from the section step, search for Google Sheets application, which is here, select it. And in the action event, select uh, add new row option. Okay. So it will add a new row in this sheet. Now click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection, then click on connect with Google Sheets. And from this window, you have to select that Google account by which you have created that sheet. Then you have to uh, give some additional access to Pavli Connect. Just click on continue. It is completely safe. And you can see the authorization is successful. And we are getting connected with Google Sheets application. Okay. So we are now connected and here it is asking to select your spreadsheet. So when you click here, it will show you the list of all the spreadsheets that you have created already. And this is my spreadsheet. The name is Multiplan Data. So I'm going to select this from this list. Here you can see the name, just select it. All right, and then you have to select the name of the sheet from this select sheet option. So we have three sheets here. And now according to our test condition, we have purchased the pro plan. So I'm going to select pro plan sheet from this list. Okay, this is the plan, uh, spreadsheet's name. The sheet's name is Pro Plan. Okay. And here it, you can see it has started showing this customer name, email address, product name, and all these things. So these are the headers of the columns that we have in the spreadsheet. So to get this data here, we need to map the values of these header labels here in this workflow like this. So to map the data, uh, we are going to use the test data that we have received in the first step. So to map the data here, you just have to click here and it will show you the previous steps in the drop down. So from this first step, just start mapping the customer's name, which you will got here when you scroll down. So here you can see we have this full name label of the customer. Just map it. Okay. Similarly, find the email address label and you can map it here. This is the customer's email. Here it is asking for the product's name. You will find the product's name in the in this data only. So here you can see we got this product name label here, product name, okay, which is connect integration plan. Map the product name here. Similarly, the plan selected. So you will find the plan's name also here in this plan label. 
let me show you here you can see this is the plan name pro plan okay and the payment amount you will find the amount in the amount label so uh, map this corrected amount okay this one subscription amount okay and now you can check your connection with google sheets by clicking on the save and send test request and a new row will be added here in this pro plan sheet let me open the pro plan sheet here it is and let me click on save and send test request okay so you can see this is the response we have received let's see if we got the data and here you can see the data is here automatically like this so we got a new row added here and the data you can see is the same that we have mapped this is the name of the customer address and products name and the pro plan and the payment amount is here so that's how it is going to work so we are done creating the route for the pro plan now we have two more plans in our uh, you know subscription plans so we need to create two more routes here so you do not have to create two more routes manually you can just clone this route two times so let me delete this second route here okay and i am going to clone this pro plan route so you just have to click on this three dots and then click on clone yes clone okay and do it one more time right like this okay so let me rename these two uh, routes also so you can see i have renamed these two routes for the standard plan and the ultimate plan okay and now you just have to change a few things here so just click on the second route for the standard plan and now in this filter you just have you can see the steps are same because we have cloned the route so here you have to just change this value so here you have to put the value as standard now because we have the name of the other standard plan is standard only so now we are telling to public connect that when the when the uh, plan's name is standard then you have to add the data into standard plan sheet so here you have to change the sheets name as well so just refresh this and when you click it will show you the standard uh, standard sheet okay select the name okay and now map the data again from this first step so guys i have mapped the labels again so guys uh, I, I have mapped the same labels that we have got in the test data so when you map the labels like this what will happen in real time after setting up this automation whenever you got a new purchase let's say we have mapped the data for the pro plan now but in real time if anyone purchases the standard plan the labels are going to change accordingly and the new data will be fetched here and the new data will be sent to your spreadsheet that's why we map labels here so you can just map the labels and then click on save do not click on save in send test request just click on save okay now close it and do similarly for the third route as well which is for the ultimate plan just change the filters value now put the value as ultimate okay now you can click on save in send test request and it will show the condition is false you can see it is showing the condition is false because the test data is for the pro plan but in real time when the conditions met true the workflow will continue and the data will be sent to this spreadsheet which is the ultimate spreadsheet just refresh this field guys sometime it doesn't show you the uh, options and now you can see it will show the ultimate spreadsheet name select that and map the data again and uh, then after that click on save let me map the data so guys i have mapped the data again now click on save and we are done here we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once guys after that you don't have to do anything manually after that as and when any person is going to purchase any of your these three plans the that is going to trigger this workflow and the data will be fetched here in your spreadsheet like this automatically okay according to the plan selected okay so we are done setting up this and you can use the same workflow that i have created because i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know 
how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.